2023 saw honors bestowed on 25 men and women at the traditional tribute to Belizean patriots on September 13. It is an event held each year to give special recognition to those who have contributed to the development and strengthening of Belize. Whereas they have contributed their time, energy and excellence, often at great sacrifice to themselves, to making Belize a better place for all our people. Now therefore, by the power vested in Her Excellency, Dame Froyla Salam, Governor General of Belize, and acting on the advice of the Prime Minister, the Honorable John Brissenio, and on behalf of a grateful nation, Her Excellency wish that we proclaim the national awards being vested upon these 25 outstanding Belizeans. On the foreground of the Belize Supreme Court, on the platform just outside the battlefield park, the Governor General, Her Excellency Froyla Salam, stood to recognize the exemplary awardees. September is reserved for the acknowledgement and homage of our independence, culture, and importantly, our Belizean patriots who so tirelessly served their nation. The tribute to Belize Patriot Ceremony presents the National September Celebrations Committee and the public with an opportunity to commend those who among us embody the Belizean way. 21 Belizeans were given meritorious awards in various sectors, ranging from education to sports and from entrepreneurship to community service. Some, like Lily Bowman and Alan Sharp, are well known, while there are those who work in silence while contributing to Belize's development. I feel happy. I'm, I'm humble. So many people can get there. Oh, I get it. I am lucky. I don't believe that I'm being really like recognized like that, you know. I feel good. I have people with special needs in my family. And when I got a scholarship to go to Jamaica, it was for the teaching of the hearing impaired. So that made it more, I had more passion for it. And so when I returned, I opened the unit at PG Methodist School. It is still going strong. I said, you know what, I will help our elderly. You know, you know I'm going to Octavia Way because there we can find a lot of old people. I don't like to be recognized. <laughs> I did it from my heart. And I love doing it, but thanks anyway. When I am in the classroom and I see my students just learning, uh, oh, oh, that brings much joy to me. At the end of the day, I feel good. I can go home and I say today was a very good day. Perhaps the most sobering moment at this year's awards was a recognition to Drs. Kevin and Kenneth Guerra. The two brothers from Benkeve Hotel Carmen lost their fight to the coronavirus back in 2020 and served in the medical sector up to the time of their passing. I think the word here is that gratitude because you know when you pass most of the time that people forget your work forget your um, your service you no know, to during that hard time so they work until the last days they can and um, even when they maybe start to feeling bad they start with uh, symptoms they start to being afraid all these will remember the doctors doctors Guerra because and from the medical community, there was the only two paths. They will be always in our memories, and they are like our heroes. For me, they are my heroes. They give their lives. For their patience, I thank these individuals for their dedication to the land of the free. I invite all my fellow Belizeans to join us in celebrating their hard-earned success. Reporting for Love News, I am Renee Trujillo.